Yeah. All right, come on, Dan. Another letter says, my name is Scott, mm -hmm. Mr. Jennings. I would like to discuss with you some very troubling events. All right. I have come across an article that would have great impact on preaching the word of Jesus Christ. Yes. The Biden and Harris administration, this person says, are making plans to infect our children with the idea that it's okay to accept gay men and women's so-called rights. Yes. And, there's go and, there's going to, and they're going to use the recent events of the court ruling to make it mandatory that all children must learn about that. You must call a woman a man and a man a woman. As we, as, and we as people who preach, God, who preach God, Jesus' word, they are going to try to quail our tongue about preaching it's wrong to be gay. Here is the link to the article, and the person gives a link. If Biden or Harris continue Obama's filthy, Amen. dirty, Amen. rotten, yeah. no good, hellish, yeah. same-sex agenda, Amen. we are blasted to hell. Try and I want to encourage all teachers Amen. and all employees and employers when a man Come in your job, in your company, in your place of business. When a child come in your school and you know that's a boy. Mm. Amen. Amen. Don't bow to the government and call it a girl. That's right. Amen. When a girl come in, Amen. don't bow to the government and call it a boy. Now. Do you that work for the government, Amen. whether it's signing marital certificates or anything that got to do with you writing documentation? We that are of God, we can't endorse no. or seal or no. sign no. a same-sex marriage license no, right. or a no. same-sex marriage certificate. That's right. no. Amen. You come in first church, and if I know your name is Tommy <laughs> and you want me to call you Tamika, <laughs> I'm dropping off the Sheikah. <laughs> I'm just going to call you Tommy. That's right. God says in Genesis, yeah, yeah. let us. Let us make man. Yeah. Let us. Let us make man. 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 Make man. Let us make man in our image. And then he put man in deep sleep, took the rib from man and formed woman. Woman. He didn't form anything in between. No, no substitute. No. So if Biden and Harris go that direction, we're ready. That's right. Amen. The church ain't got to get ready for that fight. We've been fighting that fight. That's right. <laughs> Amen. There's some of you Trumpites wrote me. Obviously, they wasn't watching us long. No. What you going to do when Biden try to bring uh, Obama's homosexual agenda? All you got to do is go listen at the many messages of the truth of God. I will stand on that. It's clear. Yeah. You see, the truth of God don't care yeah. your uh, political affiliation. Yeah. Our affiliation is with God. That's Amen. right. That's our affiliation. That's right. With God. That's right. Our party is holiness. That's right. We're not Democrat. No. We're not Republican. No. Our party is holiness. That's it's right. the holy party. That's right. It's a holy sanctified. Hallelujah. Holy, holy sanctified people. The holy Glory people. Take God that believe firmly in what is written here. So if by him though Harris, if you're a teacher watching me, don't you bow when you know you got a young boy there come dressed like a girl and you're going to put him sit with the girls or allow him to go to the ladies room. That's right. Mm. I'll show you how dumb their government is. Yeah. Mm. So many of you say, well, Trump, you know, he had those morals. Yeah. All right. If he didn't believe in same sex, fine. fine. But he believed in exchanging wives. Mm. Yeah. You're guilty in one point. You're guilty, guilty in all. In That's right. Amen. He endorsed adultery. And some of you say he's the greatest president in the world. You are <laughs> deceived by all the powers of hell. That's right. That's wishful thinking. Yeah. So nobody that's following God should endorse same-sex marriages in any form. We don't, I, I don't if, if there's anybody coming first church, yeah. you're a man, mm. come dressed like a woman. Mm. If we see you trying to creep in the ladies' room, mm. 
we, and I'm making this plain over the air. And if you want to be dumb enough to try us, do so. But if any man come in any of the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ buildings, well, that sign says women's, ladies' room. They don't say nothing else, but just clearly say ladies' room. Only one image on there. That's, That's right. the image of a lady. That's right. And we see you taking your wig head mm. as she needs. Amen. Size 15 foot. Amen. <laughs> to try to go in the ladies' room. Amen. That's right. We will physically right. grab you and usher you out of here. That's right. Amen. 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 Well, Pastor Jennings, we'll sue you. I'll be glad to face any courthouse in this country. If God said it's an abomination, we're going to say the same thing. Amen. That's right. Wonderful. Okay. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. You think we're intimidated by lawyers? Amen. We have the best lawyer. Amen. We got an advocate Amen. with the father. Amen. Glory to God. All right, Dan, come on. This person says, my question is, I want to know the reason why Pastor Jennings mentioned in his preaching that Bishop Daddy Grace is going to hell at the United <laughs> House of Prayer for well, all people. I'd be glad people. to tell you that. Go ahead, Dan. Amen. <laughs> this person says, I left the church going on two years now for many reasons. My husband was born in the United House of Prayer for All People. Yes. He said to me one day, he's not going to let religion get between our, our marriage. Uh -huh. I love the Lord in Jesus' name, she says. I have my own special relationship with the Lord, with the Lord thy God. I am born again, I'm a born-again Christian. Now my husband is starting to pressure me sometimes to going back to his church. If it is true that Pastor Jen has said about Daddy Grace going to hell... He is the founder of my husband's church. Yes, Daddy Grace is an outstanding false prophet. I'm going to tell you why. Go ahead. I don't want to go to hell, this person says. Good. My husband is dragging some of our children back to his church yes. as well. She's looking for your advice. All right, I'll give you my advice. Give me the book of Corinthians. Come out from among them and be separate real quickly now. In the book of Second uh, Corinthians. Daddy Grace, better known as Bishop C.M. Grace. He wore long hair like a woman. That's Let me right. chapter First Corinthians quick now. I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying. First Corinthians chapter 11. Chapter 11, Daddy Grace wore long hair like a woman. At and the Bible says. First Corinthians 11 and verse 14. What is it? It was not even nature itself. It was not nature itself. Teaching. That if a man. If a man. Have long hair. Have long hair. It is a shame unto him. It's a shame unto him. That's right. Now, he wasn't ashamed. He wore long fingernails. Yeah. Longer than most women. Yeah. He didn't believe in burying you in water like the sixth chapter of the book of Romans. Right. He took a fire hose. It ain't no fire hose baptism in the Bible. That's right. The Bible says in the sixth chapter of Romans, we are buried with them by baptism. baptism. Buried. Right. That means your whole body go in the water. That's right. Not only that, they took all the, uh, in the songs that they sang that had the name Jesus. You know, we sang, mine, 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 Jesus is mine, mine when I'm weary. Well, they would take all the songs that had the name Jesus out mm. and replace it by Sweet Daddy. Yeah. Sweet daddy, daddy is mine. Sweet daddy, daddy is mine. Mine when I'm weary. That's the devil out of hell. That's right. They made a God out of sweet daddy. Yeah. They would put so-called sweet daddy grace on the throne where he was living. Yeah. And all the other bishops now that come after the fallen false prophet, yeah. they call them sweet daddy. Isaiah chapter 42 and at verse 8. Real quick. I am the Lord that is my name. I am the Lord and that is my name. And my glory. My glory. Will I not give to another. You see you give these false prophets the glory that only God desire and only God is worthy of. That's right. I don't, I don't have a customized throne. No. I wish some brothers would put me in a chair and then horse me up over their head and walk down the aisle like, a, like I'm Pharaoh. That's right. That's right. That's right. And that's what they do in the house of prayer for all infidels. Amen. You take your blind bishop, put him on a customized throne, yeah. hoist him up in the air like he's some pharaoh. Amen. The only one that deserves to be lifted up is the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's right. Amen. The house of prayer. As a false church, yeah. it was pastored by the devil and the 
attended by hypocrites and set up by Satan himself. In 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and at verse 14. This is what I advise you to do. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. What is it? For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? Uh -huh. And what communion hath light with darkness? Yes. And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Yes. What part hath he that believeth with an infidel? Yes. And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? Uh -huh. For ye are the temple of the living God. Yes. And God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. Yes. And I will be their God and they shall be my people. What did he advise? Wherefore, come out from among them. Go there. Come out from among them. Go there. Wherefore, come out from among to them. To what degree? And be ye separate. Who said it? Saith the Lord. All right, that settles that. That's my advice to you. <laughs> Obey right. what the Lord said. <laughs> All right, come on, Dan. This person says, uh, Dear Pastor and Apostle Gino Jennings, please forgive me for talking against some of your teachings and, this, and speaking and questioning your validity of being sent by God. I am totally sorry for sure in the depths of my soul that does continue to live. I didn't want to let go of my understanding because it was attached to something that I wanted to know that I could look forward to in the future, even though my first wife is still alive. All right. To not make this letter of sincere apology long, I must let you know that I have had a real brush with death, and it has been only the mercy of the Lord that has kept me alive and functioning. Wonderful. A bad tooth pulling led to high hypertension, this person says, all kind of attacks against my body along with something blocking my satisfaction in prayer, though God did continue to answer my prayers. Then I thought, since I'm going through this well, then God must have uh, sent you, and what you're saying must be truly right. So please forgive me, Pastor Jennings, this person says. I will never talk against you ever again. I will remain lowly and ready for the Lord Jesus to mold, make, and send me if that's what he wants to do. I have enjoyed your teachings. I know that your ministry is definitely the best message going. I believe that you understand and forgive me. Thank you very much. And this comes from a viewer or a listener. All right, wonderful letter. That's all? One more? All right, you're forgiven. Whatever you're talking about, you're forgiven. But uh, all right, thank God for you. Next letter, last letter, come on. Hello, I highly respect Pastor Gino Jennings. I know some that are trying to start their own church. That's what they do. I want to make sure that their bylaws are up to standards. Mm -hmm. They did get a chance to go over your bylaws and would like to know if they are allowed to be used in some of their bylaws of their churches as well. Are they allowed to use some of the rules because they agree with them and what the Lord wants for his people? They didn't want to use the rules in their bylaws without the permission of your church, this person says. We know that some churches may allow other startup churches to use their bylaws if needed with their consent. But they wanted to know if something from your church does if what your church does as well. Can you in advance, can you in advance for taking, the person says, beg your pardon, thank you in advance for taking the time to help. All right, uh, first and foremost, that's all? Yeah. All right, thank you. I want to meet with the preacher. We don't want no one to just hijack uh, the bylaws that govern the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ and then start a church. And then you want to try to nitpick, take out what you want, use what you want. No, we believe all the word of God is right. That's right. And when we set up laws, our laws don't contradict God's word. That's, right. That's why we set up laws that way to answer questions that people may have. And uh, then uh, it, it, it eliminate a lot of uh, time of repeated questions being asked. But no, we just don't give other organizations our book of bylaws. And, uh, and then they just take them and just run with them. And then make it appear like they're part of the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, so I would like to meet the preacher, talk to the preacher, and uh, check him out with Bible. Right. All right, before we go any further, let me update you. Uh, thanks, Dan, for those letters. Very good letters. Uh, let me update you with those that was baptized so far. One in Minnesota, four in Fresno, California. And uh, I believe one came out speaking in tongue there in Fresno, California. Two in Portland, Oregon. Two in Bronx, New York. 20 in Johannesburg, South Africa. 10 and Santa Rosa, California, and 3 in Canada. That's a blessing. All right. Now, one thing about the word of God, it's the word of God. That's right. And many of you take it personally out on me and don't like the way I sound. I don't think God sent nobody for the people to like the way they sound. No. In fact, I know he didn't. No. God sent men to preach the word. That's right. That's all. Preach the word. If some, if your house is burning, you don't have to like the way the firemen sound. That's right. But if what that fireman is telling you is going to keep you from being burnt up, wouldn't it be wise for you to obey him? Amen. Or are you going to sit there and say, you better ask me to leave nicer than that? 
I'm not leaving. All right, then stay there and be burnt up like a fool. That's right. My job as the messenger, you better give me the book of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. I want to show you how loud that I'm how commanded loud. by God to cry. That's right. I'm not sent to be your televised buddy. No. I'm not sent to be your social media friend. That's right. I'm not sent to be your radio partner. Amen. I'm sent to preach to you God's word before you die and lift up your eyes in hell. Isaiah chapter 58, we'll start at verse 1. All right. Cry aloud. Cry softly. Cry aloud. Cry timidly. Cry aloud. Cry passively. Cry aloud. Be scared to cry out. Cry aloud. Worry about what they think of you. Cry aloud. No, look at the feelings. Cry aloud. Amen. Do you hear the Bible talking, viewer? Cry aloud. Amen. As someone logged on and said, I can see the arrogance in that man's eyes. <laughs> Do you really? Amen. Amen. Are you getting the old man? That's right. The Holy Ghost said. Cry aloud. I'm not over the air to be liked or loved. No. As long as God accept, thank God, my work, that's what gives me satisfaction. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Yeah? That's what I'm working for. That's right. Glory to God, thank God Almighty, accept, amen, this work that he has put in my hands. That's right. God put this work in my hands and made me responsible. And I'm responsible for the time wherein I live. Cry aloud. And he told me to cry aloud. Spare Hallelujah. not. Do what? Spare not. Do what? Spare not. Don't spare nobody. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Wait a minute. Lift up your voice like a flute. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Nah. Amen. Lift up your voice like a flute. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift up your voice like a harmonica. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Now, nah. whistle it. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift up your voice with a whisper. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Lift up thy voice like Lift a trumpet. Lift up thy voice. Like a trumpet. That's why you don't like me, viewers, because it's too loud for you. <laughs> That's right. You want to sleep in your sin and sleep in your wicked belief and hear the message of holiness come mm. right in your ear, disturbing your slumber. Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Bear no. Take on. Hallelujah. Oh, take God, he said what? Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Spare not. Don't spare. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. What do I care? I don't care if you're so white, you're blending with the snow. That's right. If you're so black, they think you're living asphalt. <laughs> That's right. Walking the street. Amen. If you're so yellow, somebody mistake you for one of them yellow school buses. Cry aloud. I'm going to bring you. God. And the thing about it, the reason why I can preach this, mm -hmm. by God's permission, I was made a preacher. That's right. Amen. You say you can't get this type of boldness from seminary school. No. You can't get this. Hallelujah. Do it to God. That's the big God. You can't get this type of boldness from studying theology right. and all of that religious trash that sprung out of hell. That's right. It takes God to make a preacher. That's right. Amen. Blessed be the name of God. And when God make a preacher, God said, I've put my words in thy in mouth. Thine mouth. In thy mouth. I've put thine, my words mm -hmm. in thine mouth. Be that's not afraid that, of their faces. That's what's wrong with me, viewers. That's right. Viewers, that's what's wrong with Pastor Jenny. Some of you say, well, something wrong with you. One man wrote me, he said, something's wrong with you. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Amen. But something is wrong with you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Something's wrong. <laughs> that's right. I to thank God, but the thing that's wrong with me is what's right with me. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was made a preacher. That's right. Glory to God, I was put in the womb a preacher. Mm. Eh? That's right. Amen. I said I was. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. I was put in. Yes. My mother's womb. He put me in there. That's right. A preacher. You know, you know, you oh, know, yeah. you don't put pound cake in the oven yeah. and it come out of a peach cobbler. That's right. Oh, no. No, no. You better give me the first chapter of the book of Jeremiah. And at verse 4. Begin at verse 4. Then the word of the Lord came unto me. Then the word. The word of the Lord came Hallelujah. unto me. Hallelujah. 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 Then the word. The word of the Lord came Glory unto me. The God of the Lord came to me. Saying, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Amen. Hey. Before I formed thee in the Before. belly, I knew thee. Hallelujah. Glory to God, I formed thee. In the belly, I Hallelujah. knew thee. 
in the belly. And I knew you. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, came out, I sanctified thee. I already had you set aside. And I ordained thee a prophet. I ordained thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A messenger. Unto the nation. Unto the nation. Hallelujah. And said I, oh Lord you God. You got to be put in. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You know when you're predestinated Hallelujah. to be a preacher. Hallelujah. He puts you in the womb. That's right. Put you in there, preacher. That's right. Form you while you're there. Amen. He don't send you while you're there. That's right. He form you while you're there. Before I formed thee in the belly, before I knew I thee. Before I thee in the belly, I knew thee. I knew what I had in mind. And before thou camest forth Hallelujah. out of the womb. Glory to God. Before your mother push you out of there. I sanctified thee. I already had you set apart. And I ordained thee a prophet I, unto listen, the nations. Pastor Jennings was already set aside. That's right. To do what God got me doing. That's right. He already ordained me. I ordained thee a prophet. Meaning he already appointed me. That's right. I just had to wait for my appointed time. Amen. For my change to come. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. I ordained thee a prophet unto God, the nations. When it came, he Hallelujah. decided to send me and make me a preacher. That's right. And send me to the world. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. Preach the gospel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To every creature. That's right. Glory to God that is under heaven. Hallelujah. And I'm going to preach it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You can, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I ordained the Glory prophet to unto God. the nation. You can get that mad at me if you want. Yes. Uh, here's a man who don't fear death. That's right. I don't fear prison. That's right. I don't fear the White House. Hallelujah. I don't fear Democrats. Go ahead. I don't fear Republicans. That's right. Yeah. That's right. God say Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Right Go ahead, man. Right on. Spare not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. Follow! Follow! Spare not. He ain't gonna spare you. Lift up thy voice so like a you, trumpet. When you write me letters. Hallelujah. Calling me names. Go ahead, brother. Giving me threats. Yes. I can't begin to tell you how good it make me feel. That's right. Huh? That's right. When you call me nigga, <laughs> feels good. Feels good. Call me Negro. Go ahead. Feels good. That's right. Call me a monkey. Go ahead, brother. Feels good. Go ahead, man. Call me a coon. Go ahead. Feels good. That's right. Because regardless of what you say, Hallelujah. You got to come back. Hallelujah. 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 That stuff don't make us angry. No, no. You see, you write me and call me names. That's right. Thinking I would be angry? Amen. No. Oh, no. Eh? no they called no. Jesus the devil. That's right. It didn't make him angry. That's right. Huh? Eh? So you could call me whatever you want. That's right. Call me any name you please. And they departed from the presence you can of the council. call me false prophet, Amen. child of. That's all right. That's all right. Huh? Eh? That's right. I say like Paul. That's right. I am. Go ahead. What I am. What I am. That's right. I was hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was made a preacher. That's right. Being made a preacher. Go ahead, man. I'm sent to preach the gospel. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Paul said, this will I do. If God permit. Oh, it's to God if God permit. Hallelujah. Yeah. He said, I will do it. Go ahead. So all the names you call. Go ahead. Make a list. Yeah. Check it twice. Cry aloud. Find out. Go ahead. Who's naughty or nice. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. This one gospel. Preach it, brother. It won't change. Go ahead. It won't change. Go ahead, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Let the heavens go away. Preach it. Go ahead. Let go. Hallelujah. Let the be gone. Go ahead. Said it won't change. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Thank God. Go ahead. It won't change. That's right. God brought it. Go ahead. Gave it to his apostles. Go ahead, brother. Left the day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Left it on the record. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. And remission of sins should be preached in his name. In his name. Glory to God in his name. Among all nations. Among where? Among all nations. Glory! Among all nations. Among all nations. Beginning at Jerusalem. Beginning at Jerusalem. And you are witnesses. You are witnesses. Of these things. Who is this witness? And behold, I see the, the promise. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. I'm a witness.
That's right. Go ahead, take off. Go ahead, man. He said, "Your witnesses and your witnesses of these things. things. And the whole I send the and promise. Behold! I send the promise of my Father yeah. upon you. You know why? Go ahead. You can't stop this thing. Go ahead. It's the Holy Ghost. That's it. Huh? That's it. You getting mad at the wrong one? Go ahead. Listen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're getting mad. Go ahead. At the wrong one. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 It's not me. That's right. It's not Geno Genesis. That's right. It's the Holy Ghost. That's right. Do you see what I'm telling you? Hallelujah. And he told me to cry loud. Cry loud. Spare not. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift it up. Go ahead. God gave me a strong voice. Oh, yes, he did. So I can lift up his holy name. That's right. Exalt his name. That's right. In the earth. Go ahead. What did he say? Cry aloud, spare <laughs> not. Don't spare nobody. Lift up thy voice like a lift trumpet. Lift up your voice as a trumpet. And show my people their transgression. Show the people their transgression. And the house of Jacob their sin. That's why you mad. Amen. You don't want your transgressions. That's right. To be shown up. That's right. But it's going to happen. Oh, yes. Acts 38. Then Peter said Hallelujah. unto them, repent. Hallelujah. 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 Then Peter said unto them, repent. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Said unto them. Repent. Come on, world. And be baptized. Come on, world. Hallelujah. Glory. Go ahead, brother. Come on, world. Go ahead. You got this to do. Go ahead. You got this to do. Repent. Glory to God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Then Peter said unto them. Then Peter said unto them. Repent. Then Peter. Repent. Praise the name of God. Then Peter said unto them. Unto them repent. Hallelujah. Repent. And be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. Every every Trump follower. Go ahead. You Trump lovers? Go ahead. Repent. You got to repent. Repent. All of you evangelicals. Repent. You might as well come on. That's right. Come on. I know you don't like it. That's right. And you hate Pastor Jennings. That's right. But you might as well get over it. That's right. You want to obey this? Oh, yes. Or go to hell. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Then Peter. Go ahead. Said to them. Repent. Repent. And be baptized and every be baptized. one of you. Hey, one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. For the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy shall Ghost. Shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead. Shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you. Promise is unto you. It's unto you. And to your children. And to your children. And to all that are far all off. Far off even as many as the Lord our God shall call. If there's anybody here Go ahead. want to obey the word of God Hallelujah. and be baptized in water today. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet. Hallelujah. If you want it, throw it to God. Throw it to God. Hallelujah. All of you that are standing. Come on to the front. All of you that are standing. 